Hello everyone. Before I begin, I just wanted to say that this channel isn't going to turn into videos of me just reading from 40 and Times magazine, but when I was researching last week's Monsters Under the Bed video, I found descriptions of a strange entity that I wanted to investigate further. On three separate occasions, people had written to 40 and Times to describe a frightening stick-like creature. They called it the Stick Man or the Pin Man. It is depicted as if a child's drawing of a person has come to life. A two-dimensional line drawing of a human figure walking and moving as if it were alive. The first letter came from N. Faber. They describe an encounter with an entity back in 2003. I used to walk to and from work each day, a journey of about 30 minutes through town. On my way back from work, I used to see, from the corner of my eye, a tall, dark, thin figure keeping pace with me. It stayed about 50 feet behind me. I was never able to see it directly, even though I turned around many times to try and catch it out. If I increased my pace, it fell behind, but very soon I would catch sight of it again, and it would be the same distance away from me as before. I'd say that it was about 7 or 8 feet tall and very thin, almost like a stick man. Its waist seemed to be only about 8 inches across. It was very dark, but not black in colour and looked two-dimensional, almost flat. Needless to say, it freaked me out. Another letter, written by Colin Larkin, describes a very different kind of experience. He writes, Back in 1978 or 79, when I was four or five years old, we lived in County Clare, Ireland, renting a house from a local farmer. One night, my elder brother and sister ushered me out into the hall whilst playing a game. I clearly remember being scared and saw coming from my right a tall, white stick man walking extremely quickly as if in fast forward. It was very similar to the one in the titles of the TV programme The Saint, only he had a black goatee beard and flowing moustache, much like Ming the Merciless from Flash Gordon. Another time, shortly after this, we were playing football in the early evening outside my great uncle Johnny's house when the ball went around the back. As I went to fetch it, I saw the stick man again, walking around the gable end of the house, again very quickly. I screamed and my mum recalls running from the local well to the house and finding me absolutely terrified, being comforted by my great uncle and brother. This description prompted Brenda Ray to write in because she too had encountered a very similar entity when she was seven or eight years old. She recounts her experience. One night, I awoke to find a bizarre creature standing near the foot of the bed. It looked like a pin man drawing, very like the illustrations in the saints books, which I was then too young to have read. It was whitish and phosphorescent, and seemed to have just an empty circle for a head, yet I felt it did have some sort of expression, and not a nice one. As I watched, paralysed with fright, it began to jump up and down. At this point, I must have screamed, and the parents came running. Of course, there was nothing there. I was really traumatised and it took me ages to cast the image out of my mind. I was certain it wasn't a dream. These tales of a two-dimensional entity intrigued me. Whilst it is quite common to hear reports of Shadow People, Slender Man and the Hat Man, this Pin Man was something I had not heard of before. I decided to look into it further to see if I could find any other people who had encountered this creature. A quick Google search brings up many similar stories. It seems that a lot of people have met this stick figure and have given it a name, the Black Stick Man. The earliest reference to these figures I can find is a 2009 List First article titled Top 10 Bizarre Modern Paranormal Phenomena. Number 3 in the article is titled Black Stick Men and describes them as follows. The Black Stick Man is another entity encountered in modern times. Not to be confused with the Shadow Man, incredibly he is even stranger. Stick Men are supposed to look like totally black, thin, stick figure drawings, such as teachers make in kindergarten. They have been reported as between average height to impossibly tall. Their heads are just a black circle with no facial features being discernible. They are totally two-dimensional without any depth. Usually they've been sighted walking along roads at night, or at transitional times such as twilight or just before dawn. Bizarrely, some have reported them wearing what appears to be a top hat. 
Their walk is described as a weird lolloping gait. They are surprised when actually seen and have followed unfortunate witnesses on occasion. Their pace remains leisurely as they approach. Obviously, to be pursued by such an otherworldly creature would be anything but pleasant, and those who have encountered them have been understandably terrified. So far, however, apart from being bizarrely frightening, they have done no physical harm and ultimately just disappear. What is interesting about this article is that although they describe it as a modern phenomena, I cannot find any earlier reference to the Stickman, so I cannot work out where the author of the article heard about this phenomena. One website says that the Stickman entities have been discussed on internet message boards since around 2008, but either those discussions have now been deleted, or my research skills are just not good enough to find them. Since the article was published, many people have come forward to tell of their own encounters with the Black Stickman. In most cases, they probably thought nobody would believe them, but after the list first article, they realised that they were not alone, and that other people had seen the same thing. One report from an anonymous poster gives a very detailed and level-headed description of the Stickman. In the early hours of a weekday morning, when I was living in London as a student, back in the early 1990s, I was walking back from a friend's house where another friend, Sue, and myself had spent a whole night talking and revising with a couple of other people. No drugs or alcohol had been involved, other than coffee. Sue lived some way away, so I'd offered to let her crash over at my place. Dawn was just breaking as we turned onto my street. We were very tired and didn't say much to each other, until I spotted a man walking up towards us on the same path some distance away. I didn't think anything of it. In a city like London, people are up and about at all hours and besides, weren't we? He could have been a milkman, a refuse collector, a night shift worker heading home. We walked towards the man and he walked towards us. My home was between us. I began to feel uneasy. I still to this day don't know why I said what I did, but I turned to Sue and the following conversation took place in whispers. Sue, you see that man? Yes. Well, this is going to sound weird. He isn't a man, is he? No. Did I just say that? You did, and he isn't. The figure we had taken to be a man had changed, as if a glamour had been lifted. What we saw was humanoid in shape, about five feet tall, and with very long arms but short legs. It was a black silhouette, very thin looking. I've often described it since as being similar to the stick man, which is often used on bathroom doors to tell you that you're entering the men's room. When I say black, I mean black. No light, no shade, nothing but a void. It was as if someone had taken a cookie cutter and had shaped a hole in reality in the shape of something almost, but not quite human. The creature seemed to be, well, I've used the word lolloping before now, which isn't really a word, but denotes the dancing, jolly steps it was taking as it walked. It stopped. Both Sue and I felt the creature had realised we could see it for what it really was, rather than what we were supposed to see. It turned, or seemed to turn, ever so slightly, and it was then that we could see that the creature wasn't three-dimensional. It was flat, so much so that turning made parts of it vanish from before our eyes, until it turned back to fully face us once more. We freaked. We ran away without discussion. I got my key out and fumbled with the front door of my home, which was a big Victorian house covered in flats. I lived on the middle floor. Sue behind me urged me to hurry. We were both terrified. I got the door unlocked, we dashed inside, closed and locked it again. We ran up the stairs and hid around the corner, like little children peeping at the big front door, which had two big glass panels through which we could see the front garden. The black stick man approached the door, and we could see a shape pressing up against the glass. Neither of us breathed. The creature looked through the first pane and then the other. I say looked, it had no eyes. It waited for what felt like an eternity before vanishing. One second it was there, the next it wasn't. It was a few minutes before either Sue or I could find the will to move and get ourselves into my living room to discuss what we had seen. We knew whatever it was, it was alien, either from up there or sideways, but definitely not from the world we knew and felt comfortable with. There are many more stories of people encountering this creature. There's too many to fit into one video. All you have to do is Google Black Stick Man and you can see for yourself. It is always described as being two-dimensional and being surprised that people can see it. 
Many report feeling a strange sense of unease or fear just before seeing the stick man, as if it exudes an unearthly aura. Another common feature is the stick man's odd movements, with him skipping along jauntily, lolloping, jumping up and down, or walking as if in fast forward. Something about the way this creature moves is weird enough to stain people's minds. All these eyewitness testimonies are very interesting, but has the stick man ever been captured on camera? There are actually a number of photos and videos purporting to show the entity. This footage comes from Moscow. It has been dubbed either the Russian Slender Man or the Russian Stick Man. Whilst impressive, it is only the low resolution night footage that looks convincing to me. The higher resolution daytime footage looks suspiciously like a computer generated image. There are many videos debunking this footage and a few that claim that the film is real. This one analyzes the window reflections in an attempt to show how the footage is not faked. Whether or not this recording is a hoax, it definitely shows a three-dimensional entity and not the two-dimensional stick man that people have been reporting. This video was recorded by the CR Paranormal Investigation Team. During an EVP session, the camera operator pans the camera to the corner of the room where cold spots have been reported. For a brief moment, what looks like an impossibly thin, stick-like figure seems to run past the camera. Could this be evidence of a stick man finally caught on tape? I'll put a link to the full video in the description so you can see the raw footage and decide for yourself. In one of the first videos I uploaded to this channel, I may have unwittingly featured some footage of a stick man. This is a clip from my video titled, Real Gnomes and Fairies Caught on Tape. As you can see, the footage is very low quality, Coming from a time before HD cameras were in common usage, the creature in the video has been described as either an alien or some kind of fairy-like entity. Its thin, two-dimensional appearance and its odd, lolloping gait reminds me of many of the reports of Stickman encounters. There are other videos on YouTube of Stickman encounters. Most have been uploaded as a joke or are obvious hoaxes, so I didn't include them in this video. So after reading the eyewitness testimonies and viewing some of the compelling video evidence, it is clear that people are experiencing something we do not understand. What is the nature of these creatures? The explanations are as varied as the sightings. Some say they are aliens, some say they are demons. Perhaps they are visitors from another dimension, or fairy-like creatures that inhabit an invisible world that is all around us. Nobody seems to have a clear answer. If you have any theories, or if you've witnessed a stick person entity yourself, leave a comment below. I would love to learn more about them from people who have actually seen it with their own eyes. Thank you for watching this video, and until next time, goodbye.